I'll just fill this up with a little more chain lightning. Good. Well, what look fill it with this time, Walt. You mean you got something besides belly varnish? <laughs> How things along the road? Big blow at Velarde. Sheriff Ringo says they're gonna dig up a man's grave to see if he's really in it. Whose grave? Boone Hackett's. Boone Hackett? A few years ago, that name used to scare folks worse than... Hollering prairie fire. When's the unveiling? Ain't that simple. Before they open his grave, his nearest kin has to sign a paper. Ringo telegraphed Hackett's widow, and she's coming to Velarde. I'll be seeing you, Pete. Let's ride out of here. Where to? Velarde. Oh, you gone crazy? Velarde's too close to Weaverville. That town's got lynch fever. I said Velarde. But why? Through a sentiment. I might want to put a flower on my grave. came in, too, from the sheriff of Weaverville. Well, that's the third one we got from him in two days. Says that the man who was shot in the back didn't pull through. Yeah, I can read. And he died, still sticking to his story that it was Boone Hackett who shot him. This confirms earlier reports I sent you concerning similar accounts. Please hear your investigation. What are you writing? Uh, that's a legal document giving me permission to dig up Hackett's coffin. Where are you going? Hotel to see Boone Hackett's widow. What about this? It's not finished yet. Put it in the desk. First, I want to find out if she'll sign it. Do you think he's still alive? I don't know what to think, Cully. But I know there couldn't be two men like Boone Hackett. Even the devil couldn't stomach that. Come on. Come in. Mrs. Hackett? Yes. I'm Johnny Ringo, and this is my deputy, Cully. Yes, Mr. Ringo, I received your telegram. Why do you want to disturb my husband's grave? I want to make sure he's still buried there, Mrs. Hackett. Well, that doesn't make sense. As you know, his coffin was brought here three years ago by two of his friends. They said he wanted to be buried in Velarde, his birthplace. But that box was sealed. Nobody in town looked inside it, no reason to. How about you, Mrs. Hackett? I was in Sagonia. I... I wasn't even notified until two weeks after he was buried. All I was told was that he was dead. You'd think one of his friends would have written you. Maybe. A widow is usually notified, unless they're afraid she might find out something she shouldn't. You believe they buried a name only, don't you? They're indications, strong indications that he's still alive. If Boone was alive, he'd come to see me. You sure about that, ma'am? He loved me once. I know it's hard to believe a man like Boone even knew the meaning of the word. But I believe he loved me. I made myself believe it. At first, I wouldn't listen to those stories I heard about him. I didn't want to. A woman can close her eyes to a lot, as long as her man is with her. Your husband was a killer, Mrs. Hackett. One of the worst. You know that now, don't you? I knew it a long time ago. I knew it every time he kissed me. Those empty nights when he was gone from me. 
We had a little girl. Do you know what her life has been like? Do you know what it's like to grow up in the shadow of a killer? I'll never forgive him for what he did to her. I hate him, Mr. Ringo. I hate him like I used to love him. Deep down and strong. Two years ago, I paid for a headstone to take the place of the wooden marker on his grave. But you said you hated him. A headstone. 300 pounds of solid rock. It wasn't put there through sentiment, Mr. Ringo. I put it there as a weight, as he has been on me and my girl. I'd like you to come to my office and sign that paper now. I'd like to rest a little first. But I'll be there, Mr. Ringo. Thank you, Mrs. Hackett. How do you figure a woman like that taking up with Boone Hackett? You don't. I figure there are three ways of thinking in this world. The right way, the wrong way, and a woman's way. What do you mean, barging in like this? Who are you? Well, the name's Flory Tatlin. I used to ride with somebody mighty close to you. What do you want? You know, he was right. You're a 100% woman. You get to the point. Well, if you keep getting your quills up like that, I ain't gonna take you where he's at. Who? Well, if somebody could tell you things about Boone Hackett you never knowed before. What about Boone Hackett? The man will tell you. What man? You find that when you see him. I got a buckboard downstairs. You coming? Why should I? Because Boone's your husband. You want to know about him. I'll meet you in the street. Lydia Hackett. Uh, I might have known. Old Boone only settled for the best of everything. Why did you bring me here? Boone. Hello, Lydia. Who's a dead one, Lydia? You or me? You should have stayed under that stone, Boone. Oh, come on now, Lydia. Roll out the red carpet. Give me a real warm homecoming. You didn't come home to see if we were hungry or alive. What'd you expect me to do? Put a rope around my neck and come home and invite the neighbors to throw it over a tree limb? What women took my place, Boone? Can you remember their names? And did they wait for you, counting the weeks and the months? Come on now, Lydia. That's all over now. We're together. How's Carolyn? How's our baby? Our baby. She'll never know her name is Hackett. You gotta help me, Lydia. I need you now. Do you, Boone? Do you finally need somebody? Look, I'm buried in a graveyard. And the only way I can keep alive is to stay dead. Can't you understand? As far as I'm concerned, you died a long time ago. I, uh, 
Heard uh, Ringo had a paper he wanted you to sign. That's why you brought me here. Mm -hmm. Don't sign it, Lydia. Don't sign it. We can be like we always used to be. And I promise I'll buy you things just like I did before. Mm. All the things a woman likes to remember, Boone. A lace dress, a pair of earrings, a diamond ring, all bought with a gun and a bullet in someone's back. Did you, did you sign that paper yet, Lydia? Did you sign it? Oh, start running, Boone. And get a head start. Because you're going to have to keep ahead of all those guns that are going to start to come to life again and start chasing you. I'm telling you, Lydia, don't sign that paper. Go ahead, run, Boone, run. Run until you can't stand up any longer. But don't be afraid, Boone. You're already dead and buried. You can't die twice, can you? Lydia, come here. A signed paper wouldn't be good enough for you, Boone. I'm going to be the one to tell Ringo that you're still alive. He won't have to dig up your grave, because I'll tell him. I'll tell him! Lydia? 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 You've seen killings before, Roy. I ain't said nothing. Yeah, well, whatever you're thinking, say it right out loud. You want me to ride into Velarde and get that paper, don't you? Yeah. She might have signed it. Without it, they can't open my grave. I don't care how you get it, but get it. I covered her up as best I could. Now, Roy, if you come up empty, don't come back. <laughs> What time is it? 5.30. Sure has taken Mrs. Hackett a long time, isn't it? What would happen, Johnny, if she decided not to sign that paper? One way or another, I'll find Boone. With a shovel or a gun. <laughs> See if Mrs. Hackett dropped by the office while we've been eating. I'll finish my pie later. On second thought. Thank you. 
Parker behind the door when I came in. Nobody I ever saw before. Scattered papers all over the floor looking for something. Well, this is the document I was drawing up for Mrs. Hackett to sign. It wasn't even signed yet. What would he want with that? He left in a hurry. Maybe he didn't take time out to look. Come on, let's see what's holding on Mrs. Hackett. Some of you boys take care of him. Mrs. Hackett? Mrs. Hackett? And not like a woman to leave a wash basin dirty. The stuff's all here. Yeah, go talk to the desk clerk. Maybe she left a message. Wait a minute. That's red clay. Closest place it might have come from is Five Points. Well, that's 10 miles from here. How could she have gotten out there? She just arrived. Maybe she had a visitor. Come on. Who do you figure visited Mrs. Hackett at the hotel? A ghost, maybe. Somebody was here not too long ago, either. Kelly. Woman's hail prints. Yeah. This is where the footprints stop. Looks like something happened, too. Blood. Who'd want to hurt Mrs. Hackett? Boo and Hackett, maybe. No flowers on my grave, Flory. I've been neglected. Boom, we should have waited for Roy to get back. He'd have been back long ago if he was coming. Now let's dig up this box before somebody else does. Oh, yeah, I got no stomach for this, Boom. I don't want your stomach. I want your hands. Look, Flory. A flower for Boone Hackett. Gotta show him somebody cares. Oh, come on, Flora. You can dig faster than that. Well, empty box in that balloon. I don't cut into digging up no grave. That box ain't empty, Flora. And what's in it? Keep digging and find out. She was shot right in the back. Shall I put her on a horse and take her into town? No, I'll get a buckboard. She has a right to some dignity. Where are you going? To check on her coffin. Well, maybe you need some help. No, Collie, this time I don't need any help. There's a body in there. What's in this box ain't dead, Flory. It's alive. <laughs> Look, Flory. I turned into stone. That's all that's in there? A lot more rocks to give it weight. A little something here to pay us for our digging. Hey, that must be more than 22,000 from the bank at Tuscanella. A little something I had stashed away for a rainy day, Flory. Who helped you get it? Same friends arranged my funeral. Well, uh, didn't they get paid? Oh, sure. They got paid. You get your spade and dig up another box. What for? If Johnny Ringo digs up Boone Hackett's grave, he better find a body in there. Oh, you count me out. Count you out on this, too? Well... All right, get your shovel. Let's find another grave. Joshua Quinnell. Died 1837. Too old. Martha Ann Mosley. Cora Ellen Bagley. Yeah.
Here's one ready made for us, Flory. Billy Simpson. Born 1841, died 1876. Same as mine, right to the year. Start digging. Just about fit you, Hackett. All right, Hackett. Now we'll start even. Against you, Ringo, there's no such thing as even. Make a move. Give me an excuse. I got my hands up. Put one of them down. That's all it takes to draw. Not against you, Ringo. What's it prove if I come in second? So far, you've won them all, Hackett. Or is that because their backs were turned? I could make you a rich man, Ringo. There's 22,000 in that saddlebag. It's all yours. Now, maybe if I drop my gun, you can grow a spine. change that date. Why do you suppose they were digging up that other grave? The one marked Billy Simpson. Tamlin said they figured on pulling a switch by putting that body in Hackett's grave. But it wouldn't have fooled anybody. Why not? Billy Simpson was a woman. It's funny. Hackett was digging his own grave and he didn't even realize it. Yeah. Well, he got out once. Let's see if he can do it again. Ringo, Johnny Ringo, his fears were never shown. The fastest gun in all the West, the quickest ever known. Everywhere he traveled, trouble was all that he found. Face to face with a man said to prove that he could shoot Ringo down. Ringo, Johnny Ringo, his fears were never shown. The fastest gun in all the West, the quickest ever known.
Barney, whilst you water the horses, I'll just fill this up with a little more chain lightning. Good. Well, I'll look fill it with this time, Walt. You mean you got something besides belly varnish? <laughs> How things along the road? Big blow at Velarde. Sheriff Ringo says they're gonna dig up a man's grave to see if he's really in it. Whose grave? Boone Hackett's. Boone Hackett? A few years ago, that name used to scare folks worse than hollering prairie fire. When's the unveiling? Ain't that simple. Before they open his grave, his nearest kin has to sign a paper. Ringo telegraphed Hackett's widow, and she's coming to Velarde. I'll be seeing you, Pete. Let's ride out of here. Where to? Velarde. Oh, you gone crazy? Velarde's too close to Weaverville. That town's got lynch fever. I said Velarde. But why? Through a sentiment. I might want to put a flower on my grave. came in, too, from the sheriff of Weaverville. Well, that's the third one we got from him in two days. Says that the man who was shot in the back didn't pull through. Yeah, I can read. And he died, still sticking to his story that it was Boone Hackett who shot him. This confirms earlier reports I sent you concerning similar accounts. 